People who snooze their morning alarms more than once every single morning, why not just set a later alarm? Sometimes I have crazy dreams in that 7 minute window. I do too, for some reason they are always memorable unlike normal dreams. I once had a dream I was getting beaten up by Disney executives. Then I found my way to a library, looked up myself on the computer, went to a frat house, destroyed their porch, and finally went to a dock to meet with my lawyer who was also a Navy SEAL. Interesting. Very interesting. Disney executives casually writing down new plot line. Pixar snooze coming to Disney Plus, in fall 2022. In a world, where when you snooze, you, win. From the monsters that brought you up. The SEAL is in the Navy, you see. You had me at the Everyone hear about Disney's new tea. Hmm. Tell me more. I effing love dreams like that. Nonsensical storylines yet somewhat comprehensive. I've had dreams where I start off chatting it up at a party in San Francisco, transition to jumping from building to building looking for a burger spot, and end up in a boxing match at Venice Beach where a man throws me hundreds of feet into the ocean where I go snorkeling until I wake up. The other night I dreamed that my husband and I and some other random people were exploring a wrecked ship somewhere very cold and icy. Of course the flooring was decrepit and my, for some reason drunk, husband fell through and was drowning, and this crew we were with had this thing where someone would dive in, grab the drowning person's ankles, and both would be pulled up in this balloon slash condom looking bag thing. So they pull them out and tear this bag open like an amniotic sack or some crap, and everyone's good. We all are for some reason sleeping on this death trap so I woke up when the floor fell out from under our bed. In my 7 minute dream this morning, I went to visit a friend of mine at his parents apartment. When I got in there was a young guy working in the entrance and told me I was not allowed to be there, but proceeded to guide me anyway. The building was in shambles and the elevator didn't work, so instead of taking the stairs he guided me up the elevator cable. Once we got to the 8th floor, he was mad at me for being slow and told me he was wasting his time. As we got out to the corridor, I found my friend's mother and greeted her. As I did that, he suddenly wasn't 20 to 30 years old anymore, but looked 12. He started yelling at me saying I was racist, and he had a tiny knife he kept stabbing me with. After running around the corridor with him chasing me, the next alarm woke me up. Wow, that seems like a psychologist field day of a dream. Can you explain the stabbing of a tiny knife? I imagined a half-inch blade and it creeped me out somehow more than imagining being stabbed by a huge knife. This is hilarious. I'm always surprised at how little time goes by during those interesting dreams. So many times, I've woken in a panic thinking I overslept by hours only to find five minutes have passed. For real, those few minutes always feel like hours went by. This is something I've tried to explain to people and they don't understand it. 5 or 10 minutes went by but the dream felt like an hour or two so I literally wake up feeling as if I slept an extra hour or two. 10 minutes can seem like hours. It is amazing. I always dream that I'm up doing stuff to get ready. And then I get pissed when the snooze goes off and I actually have to get up and do all that stuff. It's like doing it twice. Those are the worst. I brush my teeth get dressed, and have breakfast, only to wake up and have to do it all again. And then I wake up again and have to do it all for a third time. Thankfully, I've never experienced a fourth. That's the only time I actually dream, at least remember them. That's because you go straight back into REM sleep and then you interrupt it when you actually get up, which makes you remember. These are hypnagogic and hypnopompic hallucinations. It's more of a threshold between wakefulness and sleep almost similar to lucid dreaming, which is why you tend to remember them more. I had a wonderful dream this morning where me and my friend found a fist-pumping dog. So true. Just yesterday, I dreamed I was the leader of an aquatic wolf pack who was looking for a new home. We found the perfect half-submerged cave, but a group of electric-type Pokémon were already settled there. We had an epic battle, biting, scratching, using weird underwater powers. We were about to lose the battle, until Rick Astley and his pet dragon came and saved us. The electric-type Pokémon cried like small children and stumbled through the water as they tried to escape, meanwhile me and Rick Astley celebrated the victory by making waffles for the whole pack. 
Yeah, my mind is really weird, lol. That was quite a ride. I don't think I've ever had a dream, where I'm another creature. Because there's a time in theory I'd like to get up, and last night's version of me is convinced this time I will definitely get up. This is the one for me. I love to think I'll get up at the first alarm, but I know at this point that I need my safety net of multiple alarms. I do this thing where if I want to wake up at a certain time and miss the alarm I just accept that I've effed up my day and possibly my future depending on what I had to get up for. Username checks out. Funny that when I need to wake up before something important I usually wake up right before the alarm. Bro same it's so annoying, on work days ill wake up at the very last alarm but on weekends ill wake up the normal time of the first alarm. My body is dumb. Lol every effing time. And even when I do finally get up for work I'm tired as f and want to lay back down. Once I wake up on the weekend, I'm wide awake. That's how I stop stressing out about being late to work. I stopped caring if I was late to work. Still late, but in a much better mood. Sleepy math is the worst math too. When I first wake up, I swear I can shower, make and eat breakfast, get dressed, shave, and pack a gym bag in 20 minutes. Just do it all before you sleep. Even getting dressed. Just sleep in your clothes. Just sleep at the gym. Eat breakfast before you sleep too. At that point just sleep before you sleep. You know, I did this to my toddler. I would bathe him and put him in his little sweats outfit and put him to bed, and ta-da, morning he's already dressed. My mom tried this when I was young but then I peed myself. It's hard to be 14. Like you. I have an aim to get up at a time but struggle to do it. It sucks. I was helped by a sunrise alarm clock. I also don't use the sound on that and have a Spotify playlist come on at a set time. I put it far away and have it set to play for 25 minutes with increasing sound, less likely to fully fall back asleep. Cheery tunes 90% of the time make me want to get up. I then also do have backup alarm, which is an awful beeping noise. Comes on after the 25 minutes in the case I did fall back to sleep. If you can get in the habit of taking a bottle of water to bed with you, and drinking it as soon as you open your eyes that will make you more awake and also need to pee. Wait, how do you set your Spotify to play at a set time? Hey awesome! I haven't messed with my alarm since I got this phone, and I didn't realize Spotify was now integrated into the alarm choices. That's a game changer for me. Thanks! I never recognize that person in the morning. I hate that person in the morning. Like may just give me that 8 more minutes of sleep, butthole. The trick is to set your alarm out of reach of your bed. So that you have to get up to turn it, off. Also, make it as obnoxious as you can. Y'all don't understand how easy it is for me to plop right the F back in bed and go back to sleep. Right? I can get out of bed, do something for 45 minutes, and crawl back in and go back to sleep. As a kid, I used to get up, get ready and go back to sleep until we had to leave. I'd have to get up like five times to turn off the alarm before I got tired of it and just stayed up. This. Sometimes I wouldn't even remember me getting up and turning the alarm off. My roommates and family hated me when I tried that method though laughing my butt off. I used the app alarmy and would have to get out of bed and scan a barcode in a different room to turn off a horrible sound. Still went back to bed after. I like waking up knowing I don't have to get up right away. Yeah for me I wake up and go on my phone for an hour before I have to actually get up. Who wants to wake up and immediately have to start their day? I absolutely must wake up at least two hours before I need to leave the house. I don't care how early I need to leave if I need to leave at 7, I'm waking up at 5. I just hate rushing around. I get it from my dad I used to wake up extra early so I could watch Bewitched before school and peruse the paper, feeling like a grown-up. Now, as an adult, it's so I can get a little bit high and enjoy the morning before getting ready. People who wake up and immediately brush their teeth and leave are so weird to me. If I have to work at 7 a.m. and it takes 20 minutes to drive to work, I'm getting up at 6.20 and out the door at 6.30 lol. This is my exact morning too. 
Weird lull. Well, there's a difference in setting an earlier alarm to do something before starting your day and setting multiple alarms just to snooze them until you finally do wake up. I set one alarm for my mornings and it's an early one. So I can do things before getting ready. Look at Mr. Morning Man over here. I always set two alarms. The first is to jolt me out of a deep sleep. The second is to feel like I'm getting a bit more sleep and it's easier for me to get up on the second alarm. I hate hate getting out of bed on the first alarm on days I don't want to get up. It's too jarring for me. If it's somewhere, I want to go, no problem. Work. I need two alarms. This. Sometimes I even set more just so I can ease my way into full consciousness. This is why I have 10 alarms. End of thread. Honestly I don't know what original poster was expecting. I did this when I had a job I needed to get up really early for. I have ADHD, and it's easy for me to pre-caffeine, pre-Adderall get distracted and end up running late in the morning. It was 10 to 15 minute increments, with alarms meaning different stuff, like you should be dressed by now, breakfast should be started now breakfast should be finished now etc etc. Help me prioritize without panicking mornings when I effed up, too like okay, breakfast started late, do your makeup while the water's boiling slash no makeup today. Honestly, even if I want to go do something, I need the second alarm. Because at that first alarm I'm reminding myself, I'm a homebody and hate people. By the second alarm, I've recognized this is something I do in fact want to do. Try the app sleep cycle. You give it a range of time to wake you up like 6 o'clock to 6.30 and at 6 a.m., a tiny little relaxing alarm will start that you can snooze. It then gets progressively louder every 10 minutes or so. I second this. The app was a godsend for me as someone who hates waking up at a reasonable time. Exactly. I have no idea how people can wake up on the first alarm, immediately roll out of bed, and start their day. To me, those people are witches. because I like to have a warning bell so, I can wake up slowly and enjoy my bed. Same here. I need like 20 minutes of just laying there before I can get up. I actually feel lightheaded and unwell if I get up immediately when my first alarm goes off. Right? What's that about? Dehydration? Keep a glass of water next to your bed and drink it when you wake up. Usually fixes it for me. I started doing this. Unfortunately, my body now expects this, and has managed to get dehydrated earlier and earlier in the morning. I now have to have two pints of water on my bedside table whenever I go to bed. If this keeps going, next year at this point you should just lay a line of tap water directly to your bed. I've always had this fantasy. As well as a pee tube that leads directly back to the toilet so, I can constantly remain in perfect hydration equilibrium. We can do this. IV and catheter, stat. Same. I don't get how people just suddenly jump out of bed ready to go when they were in deep sleep a minute ago. They don't. It's inhuman. Those who do are lizard people in disguise and they use that time or incapacitated to shed and eat their skin. I need like an hour. I'm usually awake by 8 but good luck getting me to leave my bed to do anything other than take a leak before 9. Try to use calm and not loud music that helps me to wake up gradually, and naturally. Never use that annoying and loud ringtones. That's how you sleep through your alarm. This is why I set two alarms. The first is gentile and early enough to let me slowly get up. The second, that I'm usually up before, is the loud get up now alarm. The first is gentile. Are you implying the second one is Jewish? Thank you for that genuine laugh just two? Those are rookie numbers. I prefer my first alarm to be Jewish, but to each their own. This is how to learn to hate the music you wake up to. I tried it once, and while I don't hate the song at all, anytime the district sleeps alone tonight by the postal service comes on, I immediately feel tired. I use that with an alarm app called Alarm Clock Extreme, where the tone gets gradually louder until I wake up. I also set a backup alarm across the room. 
Sometimes I'm literally not conscious enough to recognize I need to get up the first couple of times it goes off. It might not be until the third or fourth alarm that I remember I have somewhere to be. I don't mean, my bed is warm and I don't want to go to work, I mean more like WTF is that noise shut up shut up shut up shut up. Sometimes I don't even remember turning off the first alarm or two. I had to start putting my alarm across the room because I would keep turning it off without actually waking up. Now I have six alarms over two hours and usually sleep through them all. Yeah I would get out of bed and turn the clock off in my sleep. I had to set up a lamp on a timer then points at my face and turns on automatically. The light wakes me up better than any sound. I just have curtains, so it usually has been daylight for some hours by the time I wake up, especially in summer. Light doesn't wake me up at all. Unless it's the bright sun burning my face. I also have a wristwatch with a vibrating alarm. Didn't feel it once. I have two different alarms and my radio starts blaring as well. It usually takes me about 30 minutes to realize that there's something I'm hearing. I tried that and either sleepwalked across the room or was half conscious when I did and then crawled back in bed. Still working on it. Very normal for me to wake up at the late alarm and be like oh f I've been snoozing for an hour? Glad I'm not alone. Thought I was just lazy. I have this alarm app that makes me solve equations to snooze it. So I now know for a fact that I'm snoozing in my sleep but I just don't hear it in the first place. I tried that but my solution was to hold power button down until it stops. Yep. Sleep me is a butthole. I want to get up at that time. I really do. But I will not get up until I have left myself the exact amount of time I need to get ready and get wherever I need to be. In quarantine, this means I get up like 2 minutes before class because that's how long it takes me to go get coffee. To others like me, get a sunlight lamp. Haha. <laughs> This used to be me. Good intentions but the only thing that got me out of bed was calculating the exact time needed to get out of the house and getting up then. In general, now, a strict bedtime and wake time has fixed this problem. This. I woke up at 10 yesterday despite having an alarm set for 7.30 or something, I don't remember turning it off. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, Please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.